All right, guys, so welcome to another YouTube force cam video. Uh, today we're gonna try to see if we can tweak the rear view reverse camera on the truck here because this truck has that 360, 360 camera. So if you can see right now, I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna reverse into my driveway and you put it in reverse and it does a 360 camera, see? Which is a very small little bit of camera and the actual, um, the actual 360 part does not, I feel like it doesn't really help too much. So I find myself most of the time switching it just to rear so I can see what's behind me clear in a bigger picture, right? So I would like for it to go straight to that. So we're going to see if we can do that. I'm going to try that out, see what happens. Okay, guys, so we got our ELM327. We got our software. We got a little drink just in case. It, I mean, cause no, not just in case because it is hot out here. So we're going to go ahead and plug this thing in. My mind goes upside down. It's right there. And it goes right in there. Right? Down. USB connection. In. Put the truck on on. Without turning it on, just on on. Let everything kind of set on. Okay. And then we're gonna open up four scan. All right, so let's see if we can connect. All right, and flip the switch now. We're gonna let everything load. All right, so it looks like it's ready. So we're gonna click up here on the configuration and programming. And now we're going to the APIM as built and we're going to click play here on the bottom run service. We're going to have to flip the switch again so let's flip the switch. It just depends on which module you're in it goes H or M. Read your warnings. All right, so we're gonna work on the 7D0201. So we messed with this last time and it's been working pretty well. But today we're gonna change the very first digit on the three set of numbers, the last three set of numbers, okay? Um, depending on what you wanna try, I'm gonna try a few different ones, see what, how it all works. Before I do anything though, I am going to save all. They actually already have the APIM saved, so I'm going to leave it alone. It's already saved. Okay, so now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on this second set of numbers right here. That first digit, if you notice I have a B. I have no idea why I have a B. As far as I know, it can be an E. A F, a D, a C, a 7, and a 4. Okay? So, with the B, the way it's set up right now, with that B, when I turn the truck on and put it in reverse, let's see if it works. Oh, it actually works there. It just gives me the split screen. If I click on 360, it'll switch it to a full view. Click it again, it'll, it'll switch it to a 180 view. Okay? And click it a third time, it goes back to the split screen. Okay, well, so what we're going to try is we're going to switch that B Remove the B Let's try Let's just try E I'm gonna Remove the 360. Okay, we're going to write this Let's just write all on the bottom here Are you sure you want to? We're going to click yes Thing 
shits down. Oh, I'm getting a little breeze here. Let everything turn off and let it turn back on. Go ahead and turn it off. And turn back on. And it's probably going to have to cycle to a sink. Transmission not in part. Okay. Okay, so it's going to cycle through sink. So I'm going to pause this. Okay, so it's going to cycle through here. So while it cycles, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Alright, so this hook is done now. So now, I'm going to put it in reverse. Still goes into split view. Let's try working on one, two, three. Everything is still the same. So changing it to the E did not accomplish what I wanted it to accomplish. Let's see if I can turn the truck on. Let's try the 360 now. Oh, close the door. And actually, 360 is not working now, so that's not good. Reverse. Drive. And... So E actually turned off the front camera. Rear view camera is still there. Now there's no front camera. You can see the front camera here. So let's switch it back to, let's try one of the other functions. Okay, so now we're going to try making this E a 7 and right. Are you sure? Yes. Once again, everything turned off. I'm gonna give it some time to load, and we'll test it. Okay, so now that it's loaded, turn the truck on. Put it in reverse. Still going to the split screen here. We're gonna hit 360, rear, and 180. Off. Back to the thing. Okay, we're gonna put it back in drive, and I'm gonna hit 360 again. Still gives me the 360, split screen, front view, 180 view. So I'm not sure what the difference between the 7 and the C is. I'm sorry, the B that it was originally there, but it's not what I'm looking for. Alright, we're gonna switch it. We're gonna try F. And right. Let it right. Turns off. We'll let it cycle through. All right. So now let's see. Turn it back on. Put it in reverse. Still gives me a split view. Click 360. Three. Still goes through it. Put it in drive, 360 again, still goes through the split view forward, and yeah, I don't see a difference here. Okay, so now instead of the F, we're going to try to change it to a D, see what D does, right? Alright, turn the truck on. 
This is on D. D058. Reverse. No camera, just giving me the warnings. Let's try to hit 360 here. Nothing happens. Okay. Drive. 360. Nothing. Okay, so we have a couple more of these to try. We're going to try now making the D a C. And right. Yes. Remember, every time you do this, you do have to turn off the truck and then just turn it on with just the power. And let it cycle through. Okay, so now on C. 045. It's 48, I mean. And this... The rest of the numbers just change on their own. I don't, I'm not messing with those. Same thing. Drive. Nothing. And nothing. So it's still not detecting any cameras. Okay, so since nothing worked, um, I'm not sure I'm going to have to do a little more research to find out what else is out there. So I'm going to go back here and show you how to restore all. Sorry. Load all. A-P-I-M. Hit OK. And it's going to load them just like they were in the very beginning. We're going to click save. Sorry, let's save. And now we're going to click right. Okay. Let it all right. Once again, everything cycles off. Alright, so back to original, which is the D... No, I'm sorry, B038 in park it'll still cycle through the front and the 180 and then back to the normal and reverse it'll give me a 360 and again rear view and the 180 in the back okay so this is a failed four scan lesson but we did learn a little bit on how some of this stuff works so we'll keep uh four scanning guys so thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out all these videos I have also. And also uh, like this video itself.